Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, or negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay. The judgment is final. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and find out what's going on in our tarot reading today. So there's something going on where you are having to stand your ground or someone is having to stand their ground behind the scenes or something like that. Uh, people may be trying to dismantle your work or trying to get you to quit doing something that you are passionate about, something you're really good at. Uh, so they're trying to temper with your energy so that you can give up on your path, on your path. You can give up on your work, uh, kind of let go of your morals, your character. Like they just want to dismantle you all over. This is something that's going on where, it's like people are taking turns. It's like people are working around the clock on how they can dismantle your strength, dismantle your dedication, have you to let go of your path, your work, your, 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 your skills. It's like there's something someone does not want you to successfully uh, apprehend. They want you to give up on something, but it's not going to happen. You are being advised to keep going and keep standing your ground. These people that are coming after you are in this energy, the eight of source energy. This is what they want you in, but this is what they are in. There is something where it's like behind the scenes, a group of people have dedicated themselves to taking someone down because someone, because a group, I don't know if they don't know, they've been operating some type of scheme the whole time. Someone has been making them false promises. Someone has been pretending to be wise and to be skilled, be gifted and all of that. And they're not any of those things. So it's that someone has either been stealing from another person. So if they've been stealing your work, your products, your intellectual property, something like that, pretending to be you, the truth is coming out. And someone, I don't know if he or she does not know that the community is aware that they are not gifted or not talented. Um, it's like someone does not, either they don't know or they're just retorted or they just have some type of mindset where they think if they keep going and keep causing someone hindrances behind the scenes that that person is going to end up letting go of their work they're going to lose their confidence they're going to stop talking they're going to stop communicating with people and just give up on life and there's a reason why we started out with the seven of wands that means that this is a battleground and something may end up leading to the courts uh, someone may end up in some type of court system because they've been violating a lot of laws to prove that they are something, someone they are not. Um, so someone wants people to believe that something belongs to them, that they are the actual, let's say, empress or high priestess, whatever, whether someone stole some type of, uh, inheritance, some type of property, money, they don't want to give it to the person it belongs to. It's going to lead to some type of court case. Someone's going to end up losing their job. Uh, there's something about a kid. I had a dream where there's a woman. I don't know if a woman had like a kid by, uh, by one masculine, but told one masculine that the kid belongs to them. Because in the dream, what I saw is like this woman was in like a whole uh, symbolizing that in her life, she was in some type of distress. And she felt like the only option she had was to have a kid um, by a wealthy person so that she could stay attached to them. This has come up before in one of my readings. Uh, the only thing is that there was a second masculine in the dream where it said he was there the whole time and the masculine with the money they didn't know that he was the father of the child like he was the actual father of the child and they both had the woman and the second man had some type of alliance or some type of agreement going on that they would just pretend like it was the other person's child and you know they would still attach to him so maybe they did it for money there's something going on about a child and i saw that in a dream there's some type of manipulation going on okay um, there's also something where it says someone is in distress because they're finding out someone has a lot of emotions and things for you. They're considering that to be bad news. So it's kind of like, no, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't want, I don't want to hear that he has emotions for her. I don't want to hear that she has emotions for him. That's not, uh, that's not part of the deal. So this, this whole time he's been misleading us or something like that. 
it's not misleading. I think someone has just been studying you and seeing how you move and they know you're raggedy as heck and they don't want to be associated with you. You got to take accountability for that. Uh, we all have flaws, but I think there's something wrong with either a masculine or a feminist energy mental. Someone is like obsessed with other people. She's obsessed to be seen in some type of light as far as they're being seen as an empress, but hasn't put in the work to be seen as an empress. Wants to be seen as intelligent, but she's out here stealing or he's out here stealing from people. Uh, something has become a burden and I don't think someone or whoever this is thought that it would be this difficult because they've been able to steal other people's creativity before people, other people's works, other people's properties, other people's intellectual properties and things like that. It's been very easy for them to steal it before, but there's something going on where it says someone is standing their ground and they're having a hard time defeating someone. There's something where it's like someone does not want a community knowing the truth, but the reality is that the community is already awakened to what it is what it is that's going on and they know either once someone is not intellectual someone is not business savvy someone is not gifted they're not a high priestess they're not an empress they're playing a role simply for money i don't know if someone went and invested all of their money into some type of low vibrational activity because they just knew things was, things was going to go in their favor and it's not going in their favor. The universe will be stepping in and balancing something out. Whatever you stole or took from someone, it will be giving back to them. So this could have to do with the bad news that you are receiving, that someone will be receiving some type of equal give and take when it comes to like reciprocity in maybe business with these pentacles, with these pentacles out here. Maybe it's in a relationship with the Ace of Cups. Or it's just in their creativity that whatever you stole from someone, whatever you manipulated in the court system or whatever situation to take from someone is going to be returned to them. And I think I've warned you all about this before. Whatever you stole, you are going to have to return to someone. This is why I say don't take what you are not willing to lose. Okay, you take someone's sanity, you're going to lose your sanity. You take someone's wealth, you're going to lose yours and then some. So the universe is an eye, an eye for an eye kind of thing kind of a uh, being, okay? They like to balance everything out. So what you take from someone is what you lose in the end. So you all can stay committed to this, whatever it is you want to call it, but it's not going to end well in for you all. Uh, if someone out here wanting to like take some type of impulsive action to go towards someone and did, uh, change their, like she wants or he wants that person to change their mind about what it is that they've decided to do. So if they've made some type of choice in love, it's like, I don't want to be with you. I want to go and be happy elsewhere. She's not happy about it. He's not happy about it. So he's out here or she's out here doing a little bit too much they may even be trying to shut someone up, maybe sending someone in to do, do you something. Um, someone is really desperate out here. This could be like a queen of swords that pretends to be gifted, but she's not. This is a woman that's trapped in something. I don't know if she invested all of her money, but she wants something that belongs to you to be stuck, to be kept from thriving. She does not want you to receive your fulfillment in life because someone is very intimidated by you. Someone is not a real queen of swords. They've been out here pretending to be someone that's intellectual, someone that's in the upright, but really they're just impulsive and reckless. Very cunning, uh, can be very uh, unstable. I'm telling you, I said unstable, split my deck, and the three of swords came out. Someone is mentally and emotionally unstable. Someone may be crying a lot behind the scenes because of the decisions a king of pentacles has made to have a new beginning in his life and invest in something that's going to be really abundant for him. And this has to do with like family getting into a relationship that's going to be very abundant, filled with a lot of happiness and things like that. Um, they could be pl plotting. There's someone behind the scenes plotting on how they can end someone so that they don't take any type of initiative or those steps to go towards another person. So if you made a decision to go towards an empress, there is some type of plot to take you out or to just end you, cause you some type of distress so that you do not move forward to get with this person that you want to be with. They want you stuck in some type of karmic relationship, some type of superficial relationship. This is a collaboration going on behind the scenes of you. Um, the person you are going towards, they're also coming after that person, trying to limit their options, their exposure. So if someone is like on a social media platform, they're doing something with someone's platform so that they're not seen, they're not, they're don't have a lot of eyes on them because they need the truth to be hidden. There's a woman in your life that has been paying people 
behind the scenes to cause towers in another energy's life so that you cannot go in and give them an offer or you cannot see them. There's also like a group that cannot afford or this could be an organization that cannot afford for the truth to come out because of the way they've been doing things behind the scenes. It's like they've been stealing from other people, blocking from other people in order for them to thrive or someone made them some type of false promises that like you're going to have this much money. You're going to get this position. If you invest in this, there's going to be a high return on investment. They may have stolen something from someone in the past. And I keep hearing someone saying, it's it's like taking it's like taking candy from a baby or stealing can, candy from a baby it's something like that or some type of wording like that that someone used uh to coerce other people into participating in something that they should not be participating in because it's going to backfire horribly a lot of you are about to lose your resources your incomes and things like that and you're going to be out here begging or kind of having to start over because you're under judgment for coming after a queen of pentacles that is in the upright hue someone that's a, a like a go-getter someone that's a temperance energy and it's the absolute truth there's something that's bothering another energy out here. It could be like a masculine that's jealous of a feminine, or this could be another feminine that's jealous of another feminine. This could be like the war of the high priestesses. It's that one high priestess is not a real high priestess, or it could be a dark high priestess that's emotionally unstable and feels entitled to what belongs to other people. So instead of someone bowing down gracefully and leaving, uh, throwing down their swords, throwing in the white flag. They want to go out with a bang and that bang is going to be your biggest regret in life. So I don't know if someone does not know anything about grace, but you need to leave something with grace, like bow down gracefully and get out before it gets even worse than what it is now. I keep seeing someone behind the scenes. They're having a lot of anxiety while they're logging into different systems to block someone's work, to block, pe not even just someone, people's work. Is that they don't want the truth coming out. So I see someone logging into different accounts and they think because they have a VPN on that is hiding their, their, their IP addresses and things like that. It's not, uh, someone uses like a, a Apple laptop to hack into people's accounts and things like that. Um, so you may want to be careful because I know you say you're going out with a bang, but you're going to be losing at the end. Uh, that is the destiny for this whole situation because at the end of the day, whoever you took something from, whoever you tried to take something from, they're going to be getting something even better. Uh, you're about to be dethroned. I know you are out here watching someone manifest a whole new beginning and they're out here speaking their truth and things of that nature. You all are plotting on how you can and a queen of cups, queen of wands, empress energy, queen of swords energy. It's not going to go in your favor. I don't know how many times we have to warn you or out here that something is not going in your favor. You need to let it go. There's a queen of cups in the situation. This will be the toxic one that's uh, absolutely uh, pissed off, angry. This is a malicious character that I'm picking up on, emotionally unstable. But she's upset. This is someone that all they know how to do is self-sabotage. Someone's brain cells don't operate like they're supposed to. The neurons and things like that, there's something wrong with the connectivity, the electric. Uh, it's not it's not electric in like it's supposed to. There's something wrong with a woman's mental. And I think there's a masculine around her that knows that. This is someone that pretends to be what she's not. And I think there's a masculine around a woman that's sick to his stomach. Because he's realizing like he's stuck with someone that's sick minded, someone that's a, that just operates from ego, someone that's very dark, uh, someone that does not really have anything of substance to themselves because they just choose to be a narcissist and just imbalanced. Uh, so there's a man around a woman that's just figuring out or seeing that there's really nothing in that situation that he wants to be a part of so he could be leaving her behind. But this is a woman that's used to self-sabotaging. There's some type of truth that's coming out. Uh, either about an emperor or an emperor is speaking some type of truth or will be communicating some type of truth about what people have been doing, right? To stop you from receiving this new beginning, to stop you from being able to move forward, being able to stand up for yourself and things like that, trying to put an end to you, put an end to your independence, your self-sufficiency, your resources and things like that. But there's a lot of people behind the scenes of you that you are not aware of that are going to a very far extent to take you out. There's a queen of wands that's he headed to some type of ending. Uh, you're about to be out in the cold, more than likely homeless and going to have to start life over because of what you tried to do to someone else. 
Um, I don't know why these people are this dedicated. I think there must be some type of money on the line. Maybe a lot of them invested some type of money into something that they didn't know really what they were investing in. They should have been practical about whatever new beginning was being promised to them. Yeah, they invested in something and they took some type of rash action. They thought it was going to be abundant. Um, but there is something about a king of pentacles in a community, in a family, in a relationship that's stepping out on faith, wants to go and have a new beginning with someone that's very independent, someone very bright, someone very intelligent, loyal, and things like that. Uh, there could be something where it's like a lot of people have been trying to trap this masculine from taking any type of action. So he's been being monitored a lot. They've been watching him so that he does not come towards you to give you anything because he sees you as a queen of cups, someone very intelligent, someone very loyal, quick witted. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> he knows, listen, with this ace of swords and the queen and the high priestess, you're someone very intelligent. Okay. They are watching you waiting to see how this person is going to come towards you when he's going to come towards you so that they can interfere with you having wish fulfillment. They want you to stay single. They don't want him seeing you as an option. They don't want him seeing you as an empress, but here you are showing up in your energy as always, because an empress never has to announce that they are an empress. You will always know. So whatever this group is up to, they think it's a secret. It's not really a secret. They're trying to move discreetly. Someone may need to seek legal counseling because something is about to be really, really really bad there could be some type of separation going on a divorce or something there could be some type yeah it's gonna be really bad okay they're playing plotting a tower for someone i don't know they're pl plotting to take you out but there's some type of plot against a queen of wands which will be you collective they're trying to plot in to take you out so that this man does not see you as an option but Rest assured, things will be balanced out. You will have your new beginning. You will be moving away, getting married, committed, okay, while your enemies are going through karma in the end, okay? You will be manifesting this new beginning. You're someone very intellectual, uh -huh, very practical about how you approach situations, and this is what's ensuring your new beginning. Uh, there is something where it's like a queen of swords, I believe, is wanting people or has been very dedicated to having people see you in some type of lighting that's not yours. It's that she wants people to think that you are incompetent, but she's really the one that's incompetent. Someone is just crafty with the way she uses words. Uh, I'm telling you, they want to cause some type of tower in this relationship, this choice. They don't want someone seeing you as wish fulfillment. They don't want someone seeing you as an option. They don't want someone giving you a new beginning or helping you have some type of new beginning. It's just a little bit too much going on in this group. Um, it's that everybody has a role to play, but everybody kind of knows that it's not going anywhere, but they've invested so much time into it. I don't know if they just don't want to let go, but it's like the more action they take, the worse things are getting. There's a man in this thing. This could be like someone's father, someone's boss, someone's manager that does things on the computer. Someone is very vindictive. Someone presents themselves to be like wholesome, well-spoken, intellectual, my manner, but he's not. Someone is a brute. Someone is like a control freak. Maybe, not maybe. Someone is obsessed with you and feels entitled to your energy. Uh, so someone may have even been lying about you to other people to make you seem like something you're not because he wants to isolate you from other people. Someone has been having you like work over time. Like, I don't even know, like if it's, it, it may not be necessarily like hard labor, but it's just something where it is that he has you in some type of um, situation where you're putting in a lot of work and he wants you stuck in your mind and things like that and not thinking about anything else. Um, but it's not going like how he plans. It's like what I'm getting is like a lot of people working together to temper with someone's energy, someone's peace, someone's calm, someone's joy. They don't want you in, in that, in any of that energy, but you still are. It's like you're still peaceful, still taking charge of life and moving forward. You still have your plans and things like that. There could be something where it's like these people are planning to take some type of action to come towards you. I don't know if they're sending a hitman or there's something really crazy going on behind the scenes where it's that people are crying either or people are arguing. People are in a lot of distress, a lot of anxiety going on. 
on because there's something that was stolen or something people were trying to steal from you and the universe is stepping in there to balance it out. It said, no, you can't have that. That's not yours. You didn't work for that. And it has someone in distress because you get to keep what's yours. You're getting that offer from whoever it is you're supposed to be getting it from. And you are actually being seen as the empress and the love choice and option for a person there may be a community that wants to work with you and then there's also a karmic community that's coming up with a plan there's a karmic community that's meeting up again to decide that they are going to stick to their path of trying to destroy you trying to steal from you block you whatever it is they say we just need to keep going the more you all are going there's you're creating more evidence for yourself okay that that's all you're doing it's not going to lead to nothing. You're just causing more burdens for yourself. Someone has been telling you all a lie for a long time. Uh, and this is probably the time for you all to use your brain and think because something is not going to go the way you all think. Okay. Like someone, is, I'm telling you, two people are still going to be meeting and having their new beginning. It's going to be a success. So I don't know if you are partner up with a, a feminine energy to block two people from coming together. Like she left her community to come to someone else's community to cause havoc in their life. And it's all going to backfire. You're going to be left looking stupid at the end um, because whoever you're trying to keep stuck is moving on with their life. They have foresight of everything you've been doing to make sure things go in your favor. Someone already knows where they want to be and they're putting an end, keeping their distance from you because they know the truth. There's a queen of swords. This person is either watching that has illuminated some type of truth to them or him, excuse me. And this is why he's balancing things out. Uh, and maybe feeling even disappointed that maybe at some point he worked with you to temper with this person's resources and things like that. Everybody's going to have to move on, even the divine being at some point. There's something where it's like a group of people, they've made some type of alliance, maybe like in your neighborhoods, you know, the schools, the churches. They say, hey, watch this person. When they leave, we need to see where they're going. We need to make sure they don't meet with this person. These two do not meet. Uh, we'll give you this amount of money or this amount of money is on the line. We got millions on the line. You ain't never getting that money. I'm telling you, you ain't never getting that money. Whatever relationship someone thinks they're protecting, that they're going to keep a masculine in, it's over. I don't know if this is a king of wands someone is trying to hold on to, but it's over, darling. That man is going to move on. Whoever he's going to, he's decided that that's where he wants to go. So you can cry wolf, cry blood, or whatever you want to cry. He's going to go. That's why I said when... When people want to move on with their life, let them go. I'm telling you, he's going to move on. And I said King of Wands, right? He's going to move on, get married, have a good life. And he's hoping you have a good life too. That's all the people in the light. Listen, my fellow light workers, all we ever want is for you all to just have a good life. The dark community, have a good life. We ain't worried about you. Leave us be. Leave us be. Leave us be. Okay? I'm telling you, I don't know who the, who this high priestess is that is just, <laughs> I don't know who this woman is. Someone is not, I don't know if they're not like a true high priestess or someone has just gotten really good at pretending to be a high priestess, but someone is not gifted. They are bothered by the actual high priestesses that speak the truth. They've been trying to block this truth com from coming out because it has led to them being rejected because people are realizing that whoever this is that's been pretending is not an actual high priestess they're not gifted they're not talented they've been stealing from other people other content creators other high priestesses for for a long time so someone is going to have to do some introspection and move on with their life you may need to go seek counseling there's something about you your, your mental there's no way you're a high priestess with the kind of energy that you are in there is no way you're going to have to move on I don't even know how people were buying it that you are a high priestess. Like, I'm getting no every time. Like, every time I ask, is this a high priestess? Oh, I'm trying to feel your energy as a high priestess. It's a no. Like, you don't have any gifts. You don't have any talents. Yeah, I'm telling you, you don't have any gifts or talents. This is why you're burdened. You're worried. You're not genuine. Nothing. This is why you're worried about someone else receiving an offer because you know, once that offer goes to someone else, you're kind of, kind of done. You're going to have to learn, 
like a new skill or something that does not have to do with pretending because if someone was funding your lifestyle before your business before they're not going to be doing that anymore um i think someone is kind of washing his hands off of you and say i can't i can't do this anymore it's what i keep hearing i can't do this anymore we're in where i'm growing we're not going anywhere there's a lot of conflict i'm t man this this energy these people is so draining <laughs> It is so draining. How can you reside in this kind of negativity all day and not feel drained? It is so draining. There's a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes, right? About a bachelor wanting and thinking about communicating with someone. And they are trying to figure out how to cause some type of stagnation. They don't want this man having a new beginning. They don't want this man communicating with you. They want him as far away from you as possible. But what's really about to happen is that Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles kind of vibe. Someone knows that you are a true high priestess and you are gifted and you are telling the truth. And your truth has led to the end of some type of, I don't know, relationship, collaboration. These people are going to have to move on. Something is going to be returned to you or something is going to be balanced out. You may receive some type of opportunity that's going to lead to you having some type of new beginning in life. I'm so sorry. This thing is just, these people, their energies... It's just, I, I, you, you pity people like this. It's like, you got to feel sorry for people that reside in this kind of energy. Because it's just like, someone is losing their mind behind the scenes. They don't know which way to go. So they're just doing a whole bunch of stuff to make something go in their favor. But it's like every action that they take, they don't realize it's just working against them. And they are compromising the people that they are working with even more. There's a whole department that's been created just to steal from other content creators, block other people's platform and things like that. And you're all about to be di discharged from your position. Like a whole department is about to be let go. There's a woman that has been mismanaging her money. It's like whatever they think someone has been giving you to invest into yourself, you should have taken that and invested it in your business. At this point, it's too late. And I think this is why she's so desperate to be the winner in some type of situation that she's the only one fighting herself because as you can see the other two people they're far away from her she's the only one standing here with a sword that does not even belong to her so this is someone that feels entitled to what belongs to other people <coughs> and you ain't getting i'm telling you this whole group did not tell you oh you're not getting that offer you're not getting it you're not getting the offer. You're not getting the money. You're not getting the abundance, the relationship. You're not, you see that right there? It's not being given to you all. Someone is going on with his life, her life, to get married, to have abundance, to work with people that are like-minded as himself. This is an emperor taking charge of his life and moving on. Wherever you all have been sweating, breaking your back day and night to make sure... People, I'm telling you the guys on the truth. The truth has been illuminated. You're not getting what it is someone promised you. There may be a lot of money on the line, but you're not getting that money. Okay? You're not getting that money. I don't know what else to tell you all. This is the truth being illuminated. Two people will be meeting in divine timing. Okay? And they will be talking and figuring things out. There is some type of betrayal that took place, but all of that is going to be cleared up. I, I don't know what else to tell you all. Like, your energies are really, like, draining. Because it's like, I'm trying to figure out how to explain these people. It's kind of, I think I've used this analogy before. It's like being in a burning building, and there's smoke everywhere, and you're having a hard time breathing. But you have a maniac at the top of the staircase telling you all to keep going with whatever it is you're doing and to disregard the smoke. The smoke is not really there. The building is not really on fire. So this is kind of what someone is doing to a group of people or community and you all keep going and keep going. I'm telling you, it's an illusion. Something is being balanced out for a queen of cups and she will be having a new beginning. I'm not talking about that manipulative queen of cups that you all have amongst you that thinks she's in, she's better than other people. No, I'm talking talking about the ascended master that's successfully closing this chapter because the universe is tired and done with this situation. There's something where it's like there's tower after tower after tower after tower that's happening to a group of people and they just won't let go. 
It's like, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't understand the mindset. You, you ever, like, like you get, you ever uh, accidentally cut yourself and then you see the wound there and then you start accidentally, accidentally cutting yourself even more? I don't even know what the analogy is to use to emphasize how ridiculous and stupid something is at this point. I, I can't, I can't even really like explain it because the energy that I'm getting is like knowing that something is over, but someone wants to keep going and I don't know for what, because it's not going to lead to anything but this and this and this. Okay. That's, that's all. So a, a whole, just one person has led a whole group of people to the slaughterhouse and they don't have anyone to blame but themselves. I'm telling you, they don't have anyone to blame but themselves because they're the ones that collaborated with this person to destroy someone else's life, to keep what belongs to someone or to stop someone from receiving a genuine love offer from a king of cups who is intuitively gifted and knows what the truth. I'm telling you, whoever you've been trying to hide the truth from, he knows the truth. That man don't want nothing to do with you. So I don't care what it is you are doing. He don't want nothing to do with you. And I think you and your people may know that. And this is why you are fighting and trying to stop him from making a commitment or ending a marriage. Honey. I don't know if they already got married or they were supposed to get married. But they ain't going to be. If, if they were supposed to get married, that's not happening. If they were Mary, baby, he, he's getting out of that and going to this. That man don't care what it is you have going on. There's something, I don't know if this is the person I saw in the dream about the baby. The, the, there was also something I found really disturbing at the end of the dream. It's like the masculine who the baby did not belong to. Like, he just took the baby and tossed the baby on the side. And I don't think someone did that in real life. I think it's just emphasizing how, how done he is with the situation. Because it's like literally you have like a one to nine month old baby or something like that. I'm not sure how old this baby was, but it looked like the baby was still in diapers or something. But it's like you're so done with something. Like literally you just take a baby and toss them on the side. It's what I saw in the dream. I was like, God dang. No, he did not. Um, but I just saw her is that she was trying to hold on tight to him. Like, and, and, and what I also found really eerie is that she was in a hole. The man that she had the baby by was standing right there, but she was calling the wealthy one or the king of cups, king of pentacles, whoever it is. She was calling him to come get the baby. She was like, can you come get the baby so I can get out of here? It said, why is it that the father that's standing right in front of you is not the one getting the baby? So this is lets me know there's a woman out here is about to be out here looking dumb as heck because she went and had a whole baby to trap a man and the baby is not even his. You got to be BSing me. Girl, children are not for things like that. I don't know why people think they can just get out here and have babies to trap men or get women pregnant to trap them. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. But who, whatever truth you've been hiding, it's out. It's out. You can keep blocking content creators and things like that, but the truth is out. Okay? It's towers after towers after towers after towers. I don't even feel like pulling cars anymore because at this point, it's redundant. It's redundant. Like a dungeon. <laughs> Are we done done? <laughs> no, we're not done done. The woman says she ain't done with these high priestesses yet. She said, I'm going out with a bang. I don't care if anybody doesn't believe me. I am the real empress. I am the high priestess. Baby, you're BSing yourself. You got nothing but conflict coming your way. You're about to be in some hot water. Later, I'm telling you, hot water. You don't literally jump from the hot pot into the fire and you're still trying to stay calm, still trying to figure out ways on how you can destroy another person's life just so a masculine can what give to you or stay with you. But the person you're manipulating, he knows the truth. He knows everything. There's, a, there's something where, and I've picked up on this in the spiritual community, 
it's like there's someone going around just tempering with people platforms because either he or she thinks that they can hide the truth from coming out. You can't hide the truth from coming out. What's meant to come out is going to come out. What are you going to block all 38,000, whatever it is, terror readers on YouTube? I don't know what the amount is. I'm just estimating. What are you going to block all of them? Girl, it's a no. You're in distress for a reason. It's because of the choices you made. You're going to have to cut your losses and move on. Like, give this stuff up. Someone is going to have victory. Whoever's work or whoever all you work you've been tempering with, baby, they're about to have victory. Their, their work will be taken seriously. Okay, I'm telling you. Okay? This is the whole energy this person is showing up in. The Ace of Cups. Temperance, Energy, Star Sea. Someone is genuine. Someone is of high honor. Someone is an uh, angel. They're easy to work with, easy to get along with. Their wish come through. Baby, I don't know what to tell you, but they're in the upright. And that's what's being exposed to your community and the people you've been working with and the masculine you've been deceiving. And this has you burdened and trapped in your mind. So you're just out here taking impulsive actions to temper with other people's work so that you can be seen as wish fulfillment. Girl, he uh, doesn't. Again, it's a no. That man, ain't, he ain't staying with you. I don't know what the heck this is. I'm telling you, this man is going to leave and go balance things out in his life. He said he's done. It's not going nowhere. You guys have been doing the same thing for a long time. The karmic relationship. He, I, I don't know if someone went back to their ex for the last time or something like that. Like they, He went and effed up and found himself, you know, down there. I don't know how, but someone said they made a mistake going back to their ex. So now they're trying to find a way to get out of that. Yeah, they're trying to find a way to get out of that, put an end to it so that they can actually live and get their, com leave and get their commitment to someone else so that they can have a true relationship that's full of joy and happiness. Laura, I'm sorry, this thing here, uh, 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 uh. Because, like, the word that keeps coming to my mind, and I don't even want to say it, but it's, like, stupid. Stupid is what keeps coming to my mind. Because it's, like, there's something where it's, like, a woman knows or a man knows that something they're doing is not going to bring, reap anything good for them. And they also know that the people they have helping them is about to backfire horribly. Like, these people are about to lose their stabilities and things like their work. Like, like a whole... A whole department, a whole group of people are about to lose their jobs because they decided to follow someone to do something they shouldn't be doing because they made them false promises. And then you have a creepy, I don't know if this is someone's father, someone's husband, someone's boss that's creepy as heck, that's out here stalking people. Like he's stalking you online and he thinks that you don't know, but you know it. And someone is about to end up in legal issues. All these people have legal issues coming in. I, I don't get this. I'm trying to make a, make sense of it. I don't. I'm telling you, I don't. Some type of decision has been made and it's not changing. And this is what she wants to change. That She's like, no, I don't want you to have emotions for her. I don't want you to see her as, as a temperance energy. She's not easy to get along with. That's just a facade she's putting on. Or that's just a facade he's putting on. Because you know energy is, is fluid. And I always forget to say he, she. But I always just say she. Because I'm just so used to it. But someone is seeing the truth. I don't know what to tell you, girl. You're going to have to find, move on. I don't know what to tell you. You exhausting. I'm sure the people around you feel the same way. Now I got to come back here and do an upbeat reading because this here ain't uh -uh, no -uh. anyways thank you for watching folks stay blessed i will see you in my next read thank you for watching and goodbye for now